I've got a convert. I just got a call from my daughter-in-law, Stephanie. Debbie really thought she needed an instant pot, and so a couple of weeks ago she ordered it on Amazon and got a good deal on it, and we gave it to him the other day, and tonight she cooked chicken Alfredo for her family, and they called, asked me questions about cleaning it and stuff like that, but then said how delicious the meal was. And I thought about how fun it is to have something that you enjoy, and then someone else enjoys it too. And I've had so much fun with my Instant Pot. And now they're having fun with their Instant Pot. In fact, this was the conversation that I was having with them afterwards. I said, you know, one of the things I've learned is that most of us don't need a stove. Most of us don't need an oven. We could eliminate so much of what we have in our kitchen and just have one little thing. And, and that's so true about so much of our lives. We invest in things we don't need. We give ourselves times and stuff we don't need to be investing in. And we could just have simple in our lives and share that simple joy. When I first met Debbie, I'd never met any of her friends back in Ohio. And then after I asked her to marry me, she wanted me to go back to Ohio. I was really nervous about it. I was nervous about meeting her family, nervous about meeting her friends. And then I met her family. They were wonderful. I met her friends. They were fantastic. I met her brother and we became really good friends right from the I mean, literally within minutes. Her brother Gary and I became really good friends. And I realized by her family, by her friends, that this was going to be wonderful. This was only going to be good. You know, converting something, someone to an idea you like, something that you're interested in, something like an instant pot, it's fun. But even better is finding someone that when you meet their family, when you meet their friends, you realize, yeah, it's a good decision. I've been blessed. That's a good thing. For Debbie and me, it's lasted over 40 years now. I don't know what it is in your life that really stuck with you, that you've been involved in, you've thought, yeah, this was right. But if I were to give you some advice tonight about stepping away from mediocrity in this age of the plague that's going around the world right now, Evaluate the people that you're surrounding yourself with and realize that other people judge you according to the people that you're invested in. It's one of the ways, fairly or unfairly, I judged Debbie was by her family, by her friends, by the people she had been hanging out with. And it was a winning decision all the way around. Choose your friends wisely. Love your family well. Make them a better family than you imagined. Be miraculous. And then... Whether today's your last day or just the end of the day at sunset, ready for many, many more days to come, you'll know that you've given your life well to the very best that you can give. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. It's chilly outside. I'm going to go inside and enjoy one more moment of hunkering down in the miracle of my life. God bless you.